Hey Mud Mashers, it's Stephen from Genozzle again, giving you another functional workout to go along with your training routine. Again, same thing, six exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 90 second rest in between sets, and five sets. All right, our first movement of today is gonna be a toss to a catch. So I'm gonna use what we call a sand bell. It's basically this sack of sand. It's good because it's a non-uniform weight, but this can be done with a dumbbell, a medicine ball, your neighbor's cat, anything that works. So what you're gonna do, keep this guy at your chest. We wanna get a nice good squat. And we're gonna explode out of this, toss our weight up, and then we're gonna catch it and use our legs and butt to decelerate the motion and continue on. So at full speed, it's gonna look to get my good toss, catch and release, catch and release, catch and release. All right, our second movement, what we can do with the medicine ball, Again, we can use a dumbbell, but I want to build here some speed, some good endurance, and get some good spine extension. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in a wide stance, what we call XWX stance. I'm going to start with my hips and my knees flexed or bent, and both hands on a medicine ball lateral to one side foot. From here, I'm going to explode up. I'm going to extend my knee and my hips, then my, finally my spine over my head, back to that opposite side. Of course, we want to build a little speed here, so let's go as quick as we can. Down and up, down and up. Flexion to extension, really extending that spine. All right, our third motion, we build some good core strength. What we're going to do is we're going to grab what we call a viper. This also can be done with a medicine ball if it's heavy enough, or maybe one dumbbell, or even a barbell. It might be a little long, but what we're going to do is a walking sagittal plane lunge, so a normal lunge, forward lunge. As we do that, we're going to get an overhead press with some transverse plane rotation to that same side. So that means if I lunge with my right foot, I'm going to rotate to my right side. Again, starting our weight at our chest. I'm going to lunge forward. As I do that, I'm going to rotate to that right side. Oops, it could be tough. You're going to lose your balance. So let's do that again. Here we go. Right foot lunge, rotate to that right side, stand up. Left foot lunge, rotate to that left side, stand up. You can just cycle through this, that distance, maybe do four, and let's turn around and go the other way. So now we're going right foot step, rotate right, left foot step, rotate left, get to four, turn around. All right, our next movement is gonna be a burpee crawl matrix. Do you remember? From our last workout, we did a burpee pull-up. So it's a burpee, same thing. We're gonna go from upright stance to on our grounds, on the ground, on our hands, and then we're gonna go into a crawl. So what I'm gonna do is I need to go anterior and a posterior crawl or forward and backwards. A right lateral and a left lateral crawl, or a right and left, and a right rotation and a left rotation crawl. So I'm gonna start upright stance, go down into my hat, prone on my hands, I'm going to do four crawls forward, four crawls back, staying as low as I can, stand up, let's go up in the air, clap our hands just for a little extra power, then we're going to go back down, then we're going to go into our right and left lateral, so let's go left first, two, three, four, then we're going to go right four times, stand up, get our clap again, now we're going to rotate right and left or clockwise and counterclockwise. Going down, throwing on my hands, I'm gonna rotate right, swinging my legs and my arms as far as I can. There's four right, and here's four left. Staying low to the ground. Back up. Again, 45 seconds, just cycle through that. Next movement, we're gonna get an anterior lateral and posterior lateral leap. So a leap from one leg, the other leg. Normally people see these, they call them speed skates. We're gonna do what we call, similar to a speed skater, but we're gonna cover some distance forward and backwards. So again, let's do four forward, four backwards. So I'm gonna start, I wanna get some good explosion, some soft landing on my toe first so I can get the deceleration motion going. So I'm gonna leap, left foot to right foot, to left foot to right foot. There's my forward, now I gotta go backwards. Again, try to cover the same exact distance back to my starting position, cycle through that. And finally, our last motion 
This is what we're going to We're going to really work on some deceleration. We're running a lot downhill when we do the mud mash. When that happens, we take out our butt. It's a lot of work to be done by our quads. So what we're going to do is just a forward and backwards jump, anterior and posterior. But what we're going to land, what we call RXX, so right foot in front, and LXX, left foot in front. I want you guys, as you jump, to extend your arms up or reach up over your head, extend your spine. That's going to take out your biggest friend, your butt, out of the equation and force your quads to do all the work. So here I am, normal set. Going for my XXX stance, jumping forward, landing on my right foot, extending my arms, leg my quads, deceleration motion, out of my left foot, just like that, soft on your toes, 45 seconds on, then you get your rest, 90 seconds, move on to that next set. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Good work.